Welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about text clustering in Einstein discovery. Why text clustering in Einstein discovery you ask? Because industry experts claim that 80% of the data that we see today is unstructured data, meaning data in the form of text, notes, surveys, tweets and so on. It is common to use structured data for generating predictions. But with Einstein discovery, you can now use unstructured data in the form of account notes, opportunity notes and so on to generate predictions. You can perform text clustering in R and Python. There are tons of libraries, but with Einstein discovery, you can perform text clustering without writing a single line of code. And that's why we are here today. So let's jump into my demo environment and see how all this works. All right, so let's start with the data. So I am on Kaggle.com and I have this amazing data set called Wine Reviews. Uh, it's a very simple data set. It has uh, country, description, designation, points, price, and so on. And I'll show you ju in just a minute how that data set looks like in CRMA. I have already gone ahead and uploaded that data set. So let's uh, go into that data set. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go here. Okay. So this is the data set that I've gone ahead and, and uploaded. If you don't know how to upload data set, it's very simple. Uh, you can simply click on create, click on data set, drag and drop your CSV file and it'll do the job for you. All right. So now uh, let's look at the data set in CRMA. So I'm going to go ahead and click on values table and I am going to click on this pencil because I want to see all the columns of this particular data set. So I'm going to click on all and I am going to click on update columns. Now, once I do that, I see all the columns. I see country, I see the taster's name, the handle, but I see this unstructured data, the description, and this is what I want to predict the price of wine, right? So I have the title, column, points, price, designation, right? This is the column that I want to predict based on all the dimensions and purely also based on this unstructured data. So again, very simply, all I can do is click on this little Einstein button here, which says create story. So let's click on that. And it's going to ask me a series of questions. All I do is start answering those questions. So it asks me, what do I want to analyze? Remember, we want to predict price. So I'm going to go here and say, I want to predict price. I want to maximize the price, right? Also price is going to be a positive number. Uh, we don't have negative price. So I'm going to say, show as whole number greater than equal to zero. Uh, private app is fine because we are doing uh, analysis here. So I'm going to click on next. I can generate insights. I am I want to generate insights and predictions. So I'm going to click on insights and prediction and I'm going to click on next. Now I have the automated version, but I also have the manual version. I want to use the manual version because when I click on automated version, it does not select description or unstructured data by default. So let's click on this, click on next, and then you see this description, it has not been selected. So I'm going to select description here and it asks me, how do I want to transform this data? So I'm going to click on text clustering and then I am going to click on create story. While Einstein is crunching numbers, I would really appreciate if you can hit that subscribe button Check out other videos on my YouTube channel, share it with your network. Also do check out the description as well as check out the comments on this video as well as other videos because you might find some helpful resources to skill up on CRMA. All right, so the story has finished running and as you can see, I can see when was the price highest, there's variety, uh, there's different regions and so on. But we are here to understand text clustering. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna click on edit story. And if I go and click on description, there you go. I can see that the unstructured data was broken down into terms or clusters. And you can see that it has created clusters for fruity, dry, wine, berry, black, white, peach, and so on. I hope you found this video helpful. Like always, please do not forget to hit that like button. Share it with your network. The NAD coder is now also available on Instagram. So if you are a fan of shorter form videos, 15 second videos, do check out my Instagram channel as well. Also check out the link in the comment below. Like I said, there are helpful resources and if you want to support this channel, there's a link to do that as well. I'll see you next week.